Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and today I have a product spotlight for the Pink Fresh Studio washi set. And a viewer had asked me a question about it and I realized, wait a second, I've never done a, a product spotlight on this one. So it's never too late, right? Let's get started. So I'm showing you now a beautiful ephemera piece. As you can see, it has nice gold detail. I use my own cardstock, 110 pounds. I use these wonderful products to create beautiful, easy, love the word easy, ephemera pieces that you can use on anything. And they are beautiful. So it's like, it, don't, it won't have the adhesive back, but of course, I could use a Sizzix adhesive sheet on the back of my 110 pound cardstock and turn it into a full sticker. But because I have it on 110 pound, I can put foam and it still has a little bit of sturdiness to it, okay? Let's go a little bit deeper and look at how to create all this fun. This was the sample that I made for the Brilliant House Store on AliExpress, and it was the oval nested die set and I had made this shaker. So a viewer had commented, it's a, it's a two-part comment actually. She wanted to know how I put together the shaker, so I'll do that in a separate video. And then she was wondering when I said that this was a washi tape no. thing. Was, this video is about this product right here by Pink Fur Studio. And this particular roll, there is now maybe, oh my goodness, they had a new release. So maybe now in total, there's about eight rolls. I only have two. They come washi tape rolls, about that thick. And the rolls, not cheap. Yeah, they're about $15 a roll, but you do get, you know, I, it depends on how much you use it. I use it sparingly because it's a $15 roll. <laughs> but these were the first two that I bought. So this is a release maybe about two months ago or three months ago. And I believe that I bought this on scrapbook.com because scrapbook.com sells the rolls, and there is coordinating dies to cut it separately and also bundled. This, this roll, the anemone roll, is currently sold out. I will look around and I will pop a link if I do find it in stock somewhere. This one seems to go, that's, well, you guys can tell why I use it a lot, purple. And I did use it on another sample a few months ago or maybe a month ago or so. Love this one. This is also another one. I just opened up this one, and this one is called, so this is Anemone Magic. Okay, let me get that sample out the way. Anemone Magic, and this one is Joyful Bouquet. So this is how this set works. I mean, if you can't do the dye, you can do the washi, roll it out, and then fussy cut it, but the dye, as you can see, it's all one big long die. This is something I would use my extended cutting plates to cut with my die cut machine. And then this one is the Anemone Magic. So this is how the sets are sold. And scrapbook.com bundled this two and bundled this two, or you could buy them separate. Because let's say you found this one store and then you found everything else, you know, somewhere else at scrapbook.com or Pink for Studio. Even Pink for Studio itself is sold out of this because I looked. So um, I will link below. If you do get it from scrapbook.com and you buy the bundle, just um, put yourself down to be notified. This one may actually be in stock. And there is a new release. That one is more florals with um, fruit. Cute. Kind of a summer set. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how to work it. All right. I'm going to go with this bundle the joyful bouquet let's take a closer look all right so first up i like to put it on a 110 pound cardstock so i get my 110 pound cardstock either from michael's or hobby lobby and i know there is a park lane because a viewer had told me about it a park lane 110 pound cardstock. I have not been able to find it at my store. I don't know. Maybe it's on a different shelf and I'm not seeing it. All right, let me go get my trimmer. This is my Tim Holtz trimmer, guillotine trimmer. So what you're going to do, this is a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. If you use a 12, a 12 by 12, you're going to end up 
cutting off a part of it anyway. So, you know, it's, I would say it's better to use a letter size style paper. Go down in half at four and a quarter. So that's eight and a half wide. Half of that is four and a quarter. So now with this, I'll have two pieces for my washi roll. Now, I had already rolled out, let me show you guys. When I rolled out, this one was brand new. I haven't used this one yet. When I pulled it off and rolled it out, it was not in order. What do I mean? The roll started right here. So when I first rolled this out, that's the start of the roll. This was the first image. Then it went all the way up. Now, when I took out the die, as you can see, this is up here. If I want to drop the die on the image, I had to cut this, move it aside, re-roll it. So from now on, I'll start with my washi tape coordinating to the die, matching the die. I hope I'm making sense. If you see what I'm saying, that's the real roll. So it started off here, where the top is down here, which kinda, I know it's kinda backwards. So let me show you what I mean now. I'm just showing you that so that if your roll is a little bit wonky, adjust it, then after that, every roll after that should be fine, okay? So matching the die, I'd be blooms here, bouquet up here. So you're gonna take your roll, my little strip, four and a quarter by 11 inches long, Take, take your time, just roll it. And it's, it's a premium quality washi tape. And I'm gonna stand up. So I'm gonna sound different now. It's a premium quality washi tape. So just take your time. And you'll see the two blooms at the bottom are here. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. There's, there's the bouquet. So I'm gonna stop right there. All right, then how did I do this before? I think I did it like so. And I just sort of use my hand and roll. Then take a pair of scissors and cut. So then the next time I roll it, it'll match the die. Okay? See how it starts again with the, with the two? So here, use your fingers. I would not use a bone folder because this has gold foiling and I don't want the gold foiling to lift. Just use your fingers, nice pressure, smooth it out. It is a little bit stiff, which is good, so that helps you to control it. It's not like a, you know, floppy washi tape. See now how it matches the die? Let's take out the coordinating die. There is a stamp set. I didn't bother with the stamp set because if I got the stamp set, I'm gonna to have to color that. This is already in color, so you know I'm saving my money by not buying the stamp, but you definitely could get the stamp. So with stamp, stamp and die, washi and die. So I did the, I'm doing the washi and die example. Making my life easier. Because I love florals, just you know, watercoloring. No, <laughs> just haven't learned that part yet. How to watercolor florals but it's, it's, it's going to be something that I'm going to have to practice. Alrighty. So in this case, you want it to be like that. You see? So the first time when I first rolled out the roll, that's that hard edge. You can see it's really this. So I, I could save these two. And here now, I would use um, purple tape on the outsides. Okay, I have... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's from the mini album. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Alrighty. So let me show you what I mean. This is that Amazon purple tape, which I think is actually would actually be pretty good for this because it does have a nice hold. Alrighty. So I'm going to stick it to the outside. So I'm going to line it up. Let me zoom to line it up. I'm cutting this first this first piece from the roll. So just, just adjust it so then in the future you'll always match the die. So here I'm just cutting this piece because I'm not throwing that away. That's good. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take out my extended cutting plates. I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot. I could use um, my Empress, but my Empress, I 
I packed her somewhere. I don't even know where, where I packed her when I cleaned up, so. I gotta find her. This is my oldie but goodie big shop from a million years ago. I have an electronic one. That one stays where I craft the most. Down here, this is like the home office slash gym. <laughs> slash <laughs> filming room. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm rolling it through. Okay, move my die cut machine to the side. And there we go. Now, notice, if you notice when I did put on the purple tape, notice I only did dye to paper that I'm not using. So I don't, because I know this purple tape is very strong and I don't want it to lift. It's just good practice to watch your placement. It's a little bit here though. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy and cute. All right. And there's your die cut piece. Bat, 110. I like it on 110. And it's just regular 110. You don't have to go, you know, Nina, Nina, Solar White, and all. You save your expensive papers for other things. You know, save your Bristol for your ink blending. Save your Nina for your coloring. And definitely your Copic paper. If you have Copic paper, please save, save that. Don't, don't use it for this. The 110 pound is working quite fine. Again, putting it on here putting the die on top of the washi image, and we're gonna cut this set now, which is the full I'm layout. I'm getting seven blooms in one run. Six here, and then that nice bouquet. Now tell me if this is not like cute. I tell you, Pink for Studio. And then they have that new set. I'm like, oh gosh, why, why? <laughs> There's something with like lemons and blueberry and strawberries or something, it's so cute, and I'm like, <laughs> but I love Pink Fresh, um, their um, whole new thing with the hot foil plate along with the stamp and the stencil for the florals. It just makes us all get accessibility to beautiful florals that normally, you know, that's reserved for people who can watercolor. Now it's like all of us, we can all have beautiful bouquets. I love that. All right, so I'm putting the die on my big shot here and good practice. Just turn it a little bit, takes off the pressure off the die, takes off the pressure off your machine so it will last longer and just roll it through. cut machine aside alrighty so now these plates look look at this plate this is my original cutting plate and see I write cutting plate for years sometimes you know I know some folks don't like don't like the you know Sizzix Big Shot I'm still still loving my Big Shot after all this time especially for these type of dies that are open and they they just don't necessarily take a lot of pressure well Start bending too too much. I like my dies to stay straight. But with your um, Gemini, you can use that magic mat on it. I need to. I got the magic mat for my um, the the large one to try and use with the Empress, but it arrived a little bit bent. So I'm like, I have it under a ton of weight trying to straighten it back out. I know they didn't pack it right. And I was just like, oh, really? Also, I just got a notice. Anybody that's interested in the Stampendable, back in stock. So grab one. I actually have two, one upstairs and one down here for filming. Well, and for my crop bag. <laughs> so here it is again. Cute. Cute. Maybe I'm cutting too much to the right. I'm noticing here I'm on the edge but I can make a card now with that and I'm going to use this on the shaker example. Now let's go with the other roll, the anemone. Ooh, that word is just like, I hope I'm saying it correctly. This one should be in order too. 
Okay, that's the coordinating die. Again, it comes with the stamp. That's what it looks like with stamp and die. That's washi tape and die. Options. I love how they give you options. So, this is, so the reason why somebody would get the stamp, let's say you can watercolor and you can Copic color or use your Zig markers or watercolor markers and all that good stuff and you're, you know, you don't want purple and blues. Get the stamp set. Yay! <laughs> and then you get the die. Not mad at you at all. I want to learn too. I'm standing up and I'm going to apply on that four and a quarter strip of 110 pound cardstock. There. Just need to apply it smooth. Use my hand here, smooth. If you know how to apply wallpaper, this would be very easy for you. If you're like me, just take your time. I'm still learning it. Little wrinkle right there. Use your fingers though. I would not use a Teflon bone folder because of the foiling. I wouldn't want it to lift anything. There we go. There we go. There. So now that I have the anemone magic here, now put the coordinating die on top, line it up. Isn't that cute? And so here again, one, two, three, four, five, six blooms. And you just roll it once and then you get all this goodness. You can, you know, take some time and just roll out a bunch and then put each set in a little baggie just to protect them. Let me write um, here. Washi tape on the end. Washi tape. Not washi tape. Purple tape. Purple tape up here at the top. So apply your purple tape, like so. Alrighty, I'm gonna roll it through my die cut machine. I'll be right back. I actually, I could have used, I do have the extended magic mat. I don't know why I didn't put it here. Oh. <laughs> and you could also cut down. The beauty of the magic mat, you can cut into it, you know? So everything stays flat, which is nice. Pop these out, look at that. Pops out with ease. There you go. And so now in my embellishment here, I had put just, you know, playing with it. I think I did it like so. Yes. And then I had put some of this here and just layered it up. What you see? Beautiful, beautiful. So we have the Anemone Magic and also the Joyful Bouquet. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I will put links below so you can check out um, all this goodness from Pink Fresh Studios. I love this. It's a very easy way to make cards. And I like to use 110 pound. Nobody knows the difference anyway. <laughs> but it gives it a certain sturdiness. So if you are going to, let's say, use, um, you're, you're going to pop it up with some foam tape like my Dollar Tree foam tape, these will hold up. The softer the paper is, the more it's gonna start bending and doing all kinds of stuff. I like it to remain, you know, steady, especially when the sizes get big like this. Okay, so now it's like almost like a sticker. Alrighty, crafters, I hope you enjoyed this little product spotlight on this awesome product by Pink Fresh Studio. And the next video, I'll be making a shaker and I'm gonna be using the joyful bouquet in that example, all right? Okay, crafters, on to the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.